Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A simple, small trick that I'm going to tell you today is that whenever you are searching for the any product or e-commerce application or any specific dropdown is there and that dropdown is made of AngularJS or maybe ReactJS sometimes. So what happens or maybe it's a bootstrap uh, JavaScript people are using it and then you enter some value here. For example, let's see if I'm entering a MacBook and then these number of suggestions are coming over here. The, and you have to capture the entire suggestion list or let's say you really want to click on MacBook Air M1 or some specific value. The problem here is that you won't be able to inspect it and you won't be able to create the complete list with the help of XPath or CSS selector. See, I'll tell you what is the problem statement here. So you try to right click on it and then moment you click on inspect, this is disappeared. You just again write and then you try to click on this inspect once the suggestion list is visible. Try to inspect that once again and it's gone. So it's not reflected in the HTML DOM and then you totally got stuck that where exactly I have to inspect that particular element because I'm not able to see that. Some people, okay, they try that, okay, you go to sources. Sometimes this trick might work. You simply click on MacBook and then once the suggestion list is available, what you can do, you can simply press F8 over here. And once you press F8, you try to freeze the entire page. See, pause in debugger, but still it's not working here because it's not displaying the entire MacBook suggestions here. See, again, I'll show you. You write MacBook and then you press function F8 from here and then the suggestion list is getting disappeared. So you are totally uh, stuck here that, hey, 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 that how to get this entire suggestion list. So nothing is working. You try to inspect that is from here also or you directly right click on it and then go to inspect. See, it's not giving you any output here. It means I cannot inspect the suggestion list. Same thing if you go to, let's see, for a Zira board, you click on uh, create this is just an example and then you let's say you really want to inspect these number of two options are available in this particular project you right click on it see it's gone because i cannot inspect that same thing let's see these are the four options available in this particular drop down if you see this carefully and then you try to inspect it it's gone i cannot inspect that in fact from the dom chrome dev tools also you just open that particular uh, this particular issue type drop down you try to inspect the moment you click on inspect the list is gone the drop down options are gone and then you're totally frustrated that it's not getting disappeared in the html dom so you cannot handle this so how to handle these scenarios see i'll tell you a small trick that you can do here what you do you simple first of all open this particular list or let's see whatever the end value that you have entered over here after that you slightly scroll to the screen where you can see style compute it and everything and then you have to click on event listeners over here if you don't see the event listener on google chrome i'm talking about in the chrome dev tools you open this arrow and here you will see the uh, event listeners over here so you just need to open this event listener tab when you open that you will see one property that is called blur just open that blur property and then you try to see this there are three properties are available like window document and then body so what you do you remove 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 and remove okay three times remove are there just remove that and then you try to inspect this once again and then you can easily inspect anything now that's so awesome see it's not getting disappeared now you can easily inspect right click on it go to inspect from here also you can inspect that and then directly also you can inspect it from here as well now you can see it's coming macbook air m1 you can try on zira create issue also see what exactly i'm going to do that i just simply click on bug and then i'll do one thing i'll just open this arrow open the event listener and then you can see event listener is appeared you come over here and check the blur property so what you do you simply scroll it down and here you will see the blur property just open that blur property and then remove all these click on remove button for all these objects over here you can see that remove 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 and remove the blur property is gone and now you open this particular drop down and then you try to inspect that now it's not getting disappeared you can see that it's coming epic and then you can just simply create the xpath or css selector or you can just collect all these uh, list items or whatever the drop down options are available here you can easily do that so these are kind of problems you will see whenever you see some uh, drop down options which are not made of select uh, html tag or some bootstrap or react based drop downs are available where you can see that 
So div combination or some ng combination is coming here like this and you can, you can see some ul and list options available over here. You can see this under this particular li and then this is again one more li and then this is the complete ul list and then number of li's are available. So there is no select html tag so you cannot use select class over here. So you have to create the x path and then you have to come down and then you just open that just open this and then you will see that okay yeah this is a backbook is available the problem is you won't be able to you won't be able to inspect this this option that's why what you have to you just need to remove the blur property from the event listener the moment you refresh this entire page the, again the blur property will be added over here so this is a simple trick that you can use it now see this this is what the script that i have written and here you can see that i'm going to create this particular xpath I'm going to enter MacBook Pro and then I'm going to create this particular XPath. I'm not writing the entire script once again. Just press Ctrl F and then this say. You can see that yeah, class is equal to this and this contains this particular class. Each and every item having this class and directly using div over here. So I'm creating div with a contains class and you can see it's inspecting all these eight items. And if you really want to run this, so I'm using first of all, I'm entering MacBook Pro waiting for five seconds. You see this thing. Uh, this particular xpath i'm creating driver.find elements getting the suggestion list writing a loop and one by one i'm capturing the text of each and every items from this particular suggestion list so let's see this is working or not so quickly run as a java application so these kind of scenarios where you have search suggestion list or drop down where you are not able to inspect the specific uh, items you can easily do that with that so see this it will enter the macbook pro and the number of suggestions will be displayed and then it will try to print it on the console so you can see that it is actually printing all the values on the console over here that's it perfect so you can just use it for any application where the list items are getting disappeared you can use this trick it will always work for any application and remember the same trick will work for playwright for cypress for webdriver or your any ui automation tool because everywhere you have to create the locator here we are using by.xpath maybe in cypress you are using something css selector or xpath or any other locators ultimately you have to capture the list because xpath is nothing specific to the specific tool only it will be supported by almost every automation tools every ui automation tool this is a trick for the dom create the xpath and use it in your script and that's it so thank you so much that's all for this particular video if you like this particular trick please subscribe to the channel share this video with others if you are struggling with these kind of scenarios people might ask you these kind of questions at the time of interview and it will definitely help you to automate certain scenarios on a regular basis in your project thank you guys i'll see you in the next video till then take care